Hello and welcome to a CBK Gaming unboxing video. Today we're very excited to take a look at Village Attacks by Grimlord Games. This is the Pitchfork um, pledge with all the extras, I think with the exception of um, some of the dice and the art book. Yep. This is a one to five player cooperative game um, where you play monsters inspired by folklore and um, defending your keep and your dungeon from the local villagers and their heroes. And heavily inspired, I believe, and, and reminiscent of Dungeon Keeper um, by, I think it was Bullfrog Games uh, back in many, many moons ago um, that many of us may remember playing on the computer. So let's take a look in the, in the box. So first, let's take a look in the actual core box after the huge amounts of extras <laughs> that we have. So again, the, the artwork, I, again, I really like. I, I've, I've liked all the artwork that Grimlord Games have done, including Everrain, the details I've put yeah. on Everrain at the moment. Um, I just think that's a, a fantastic piece of artwork. It's going to look really good on the shelves. The back clearly shows details from the game it gives you all the details and how many players uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a good book good box good layout let's um let's just do the important thing and get into the core game i remember seeing the pieces at the games expo uk yes. games expo in Birmingham, and i've just been waiting and waiting to get my hands on this ever since yeah, and, and the guys uh, at Grimlord were fantastic, really nice chaps, really passionate about the, the games and the game that they, and to make sure, one of the big things for me about Grimlord games was they weren't happy about how the miniatures had come out um, from the factory, so they stopped and they told everybody that it was going to take a little bit longer for, quick, uh, for, for the Kickstarter to come out. And, and that was fine. And they were really good at telling everybody what was going on. Yeah. Um, and even with um, the delivery um, with Games Quest, um, again, they were fantastic. They kept everybody aware of what was going on. I think they were let down by their, uh, by other companies. Um, so we have the rule book. Again, really like the artwork. Um, it's, it's detailed, it's clear. Looks very intriguing. I can't. I can't <laughs> wait to actually play a game. What I like is you haven't got the typical monsters that you find in other fantasy games. You've got unusual ones here. There's there's monsters here that I've never played before. So I'm looking forward to to trying. Well, yeah, they've delved into folklore. Yeah, which, what, which what is fantastic. Attributes they have. So the rule book, and then oh, that's that's good. I like the uh, oh, <laughs> printing of village game. attacks imprinted <laughs> on the. Uh, and here are the miniatures. And I'm guess they're the villagers. Well, there's one that is. There's, there's one that's definitely. I think the lighter colours are the um, the playable characters. Um, what I'll do now, you will see over uh, over the next couple of minutes, uh, perhaps um, individual shots of the. Uh, miniatures uh, ranging from the monsters to the heroes to the villagers just looking at some of these they look absolutely fantastic 
Um, they're very detailed. Um, I know we're, we're raring to paint these. Um, <laughs> we've still got uh, a couple of folklore ones left to paint and we've got a couple of uh, Conan left to paint. But overall, um, these are going to be very quickly on the list. And these are these really do look fantastic. Um, and as you can see for yourself, um, there's the interesting peasants and the heroes that the peasants uh, can muster. You also have a selection here of the monsters or the playable characters. Um, and as Karen was saying, they're quite an intriguing, quite different set of um, monsters that you get to play in this one. So let's put these to one side. And back to the, the, the main content. So we have a nice, uh, nice bag. The stands for the creatures, the monsters and the, the, the uh, heroes. And then we have the rather detailed map pieces. And we have a number of these and they're really nicely printed and they feel numbered. good yeah they're, they're, <laughs> they've also good quality there's there's some games where the, the quality of the card isn't isn't particularly great um it's so my only complaint about folklore is the thin um yeah, almost papery yeah. consistency of the the boards um, or the uh, Gloomhaven is another example which feels quite cheap mm -hmm. um, whereas Descent, Imperial Assault yeah. the quality of those is, is fantastic we have some I'm not sure what those are we'll find out shortly some interesting dice. And then the cards, oh, a metal, a metal coin. First player token? I'd maybe? expect so. Uh, should I this? Yes, let's see what that, uh, various cards. Um, again, we'll, we'll put some photographs of the different cards. Now, now we get to some interesting ones. So we get to the the Banshee. Again, the artwork's fantastic. And these are on the thicker cards as well. Yes. Which I wasn't expecting. I thought normally the player cards come sort of much thinner, don't they? The Succubi. The Lich. The Vampire. Dullahan, I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. That's the one that intrigues me. Um, ah, this is where those um, plastic pieces, ah, so yeah. the castle heart, the village morale, village events, and places for cards, so dashboard of, card, of sorts. Again, all really well made. We've got some more as well. Black Bastards here. Um, some more um, locations. Always joining uh, to join rooms. Okay, so we have some of the components. Again, very well made, well printed, and stamped as well. It doesn't look as if they're going to rip, as some have that we've. We've bought, bought. Uh, some some more rooms. Again, very well made. What do we have here? The artwork is lovely because they've they've got the angles right. Because some maps you look at them and you can they've tried to do a three D artwork and it hasn't quite it still looks With flat. Well but here, these yes. you can you can see the walls coming up. And we've got 
Uh, it looks like skills and and a horde coming with pitchforks. <laughs> Fantastic. Can't wait to get this to the table. So uh, let's. And that's just the base game. <laughs> let's see the extras. Yes. Okay, so the next box is Dread and Malice. I tend to see what is inside. Okay, so we have some more miniatures. The Boogeyman. Oh, now that is a fantastic miniature. You'll see some images um, up on screen now just showing the the interesting new miniatures that come with this expansion um, but they are very very intricate and rather nice miniatures um, which again we look forward to painting and this is um, it's all very much the same but it's expansions to a core game that really does look good fun so we've got the engineer don't, uh, don't look forward to meeting that. The Berserker. Oh, so, so enough of the heroes. Where's the where's the monsters? <laughs> so we have a boogeyman. Creeping death. Sounds like we need to be playing Metallica whilst we're. Oh, fantastic! And Grampus. The naughty list. Childhood fear. <laughs> That's quite good. Fantastic. Doom, Doom and, and suffering. suffering. I wonder what monsters are in here. Oh, it looks like rats. So, as you can see, there's some interesting monsters here. Oh, no, they're more like wolves. Little wolves. wolves. And I have, I have no idea. <laughs> we'll find out. Let's have a look through. So we have for the heroes a paladin. That can't be good. And a druid. And then oh, a woad of the wild hunt. Wow. I like that. I like that. And they have the pet wolves. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really like the Wild Hunt mythology. And... Oh, it's Hi. Jack of the Lantern. I wouldn't... I, I, I could see that it was... I, I thought it was either water or something that was going around his body, but it's... No, it's, it's quite interesting. 
Okay, so next we're going to be taking a look at Fear and Torment. Let's have a look at what we have inside here. So, we have some new miniatures uh, that ooh, look very interesting. So, what are they? Well, the heroes, we have an exorcist. And a battle mage. Mm. And then we have for the our monsters <laughs> Spring Healed Jack. I was looking at that model and was going, I think I recognise that one. I'm <laughs> sure I've seen that one before. And Black Anise. Mm. So they're quite that interesting. One. Mm. Okay, so next, join us for despair and abhor abhorrence. Let's see what we have in here. So again, we have some new heroes and monsters. So we have a portal mage. And we also have... A fisherman. With, is that a squid on the shoulder? I don't know. It looks like it. It looks like he has a pet squid. And then as monsters, we have Baba Yaga. Which I believe is a Slavic uh, mythological creature. And Yodnyanoi. I am butchering Bu those. Buyanoi? We'll have to look this one up as well, I think. I think that's another <laughs> Slavic um, Slavic one. But yes, they look um, really interesting. I, I really like some of these monsters. Um, so we're going to now look at Greed and Fury. We really did get a lot with this game, didn't we? We did. Okay, so again two heroes and two monsters and what do we have we have a shield maiden and we have a kelp now as the monsters what do we have we have a draugr so um, dead from nordic mythology and a red cap, which I believe is uh, Celtic, um, mm -hmm. Irish mythology. Quite unpleasant, yes, blood for the cap. Fantastic. Okay, so we have left Rage and Avarice, uh, which we will now take a look at. We should probably try to guess what monsters they are. <laughs> So, for the heroes we have Spirit Tracker and Wind Dancer and then for the monsters we have Baycock, I am probably absolutely butchering these, and a Wendigo. I like the look of that. How many arms? Four, a few. Two, three, four, four, yes, and each holding a knife. Lovely. <laughs> Satiable hunger, cannibalism. Yeah, they, they're all very, very interesting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they actually play out. Terror and anguish. Let's see what the box includes all oh, okay so you'll see now some new miniatures including obviously it, it seems to be there's two monsters and two heroes um, so we have a wolf like creature um, which I'm assuming is going to be a werewolf uh, really quite nice uh, I quite like that one um, an ethereal looking uh, chap and two interesting uh, heroes so what do we have well we have a plague doctor <laughs> yeah he's not scary at all 
and an illusionist. Oh, that was it's quite an interesting figure, as you'll see. I'm going to put it up in the corner. It's uh, quite a well-made little figure with uh, uh, something looming over it. I, I quite like how they've done that. Ah, yes. Okay, so the new monsters, quite rightly, a a werewolf. Again, uh, one I, I quite like the idea of. And Sandman. Oh, so not an ethereal undead at all. Here we have Wrath and Ruin. Let's see what interesting figures are in this one. Uh, as you can see on screen now, they're the new miniatures um, that you can see. Um, so let's actually see what we can see what they actually are. So the the Pathfinder is one of the heroes. The Jailer. Now for the interesting bits, the the new monsters. And these ones look very interesting. So we have the Leshy. This was the one that I'm really looking forward on <laughs> to playing. Oh, it's, it's, it's your, foresty. It's your style, yeah. Yes. And the Glastig. Glastig. Oh, with hooves. Oh, yes. <laughs> Notice that. I uh, wonder if that's a Scottish... I'm going to have to look that up now. That's, yeah. that's what I like about this game. I'm going to be looking up the different folklore um, monsters to actually understand where they came from. So traps. This really uh, excites me because um, we can use these not just for village attacks, but for a number of other games that we play. Um, so these are the three model, three D models of the traps, um, and they are fantastic. They are really nice, as you can see on the screen now. Um, there are a number of these different traps, from sort of a, a spikes to logs coming down to uh, a giant boulder um, and uh, pit traps there's also and i believe this was where they had the um, original problem as you can see on the screen um, this is a hoard of gold and a and treasure chest um, and i know this i think this was one of the ones that didn't print very well um, the 3D image was fantastic, it was, was sent across really nice, but I think they weren't happy with how it came out, and um, I must say this this looks really good, and I think we'll be using for other games as well. Um, yeah, they, they these look um, very interesting, and I think we have a Mimic, yes, and with that's... With spider's legs. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a Mimic. Yeah. You don't want to open this chest. I don't want to touch the model. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there's a, there's a couple of other really interesting uh, little um, traps and things. Yeah, fantastic. So let's move on and actually just talk about the, the, the game that we've seen, the components we've seen. So... As you can see, there is a lot here to look at. Yeah. Um, very impressed with the miniatures. Mm. Um, yeah. There is a lot of miniatures. And I do wonder whether we're going to run out of um, maps or quests, adventures to do. Um, that's, that's a concern that I would have. Um, but we'll just see how that goes. Um, and whether you can make up your own um, adventures or, or stories. Yeah. Um, but overall... Fantastic miniatures, really liking the theme, really like the uh, monsters, they're, they're fantastically done. Need to go and look up a few, I, I'm not quite sure um, But it's good that a game from. does that, that a game makes you go and research yes. and you're then looking into actual folklore and history and yeah, it's well, good I, that it gets you doing that. I love folklore and, and mythology and, and I'm surprised that there's a, I've, I've heard of them but I don't actually know where they stem from the actual root um, behind them. So yeah. that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I, I love the way all the add-on boxes have been made to look like books and like tomes. <laughs> so when you put them up on the shelf, it looks like you have an old bookshelf with old books on it. And really each one is another set of monsters and heroes to fight. And yeah, I, I really like the way they've done the, 
the boxes. They've thought about the add-ons. My OCD is, is screaming <laughs> one little bit, and that's the horrors of the sands. It's not the same It's shape. not the same size. <laughs> um, that's the only... And, uh, and the troll. We can forgive <laughs> the troll because it's a troll. Um, but joking aside, they, they all look absolutely fantastic. Um, can't wait to get to the, get this to the table. We will be doing that. That this is going to be played. We try to play games five times before we look to film it or before we even give any opinion on it. Uh, simply because uh, I don't think you can get a good grasp of the mechanics until you've played it to enough times. Yeah. You've got to play it, learn the rules, get to find where the rules may or may not work. It's yeah. See if there are any house rules that have to be brought in. Yes. Um, and you only get that through playing it. A number of times. I'm going to apologise to Grimlord Games. We're not going to have them painted in time to play it. <laughs> um, but we do plan on doing a um, a painting session, I guess, of of these uh, the Village Attacks game. Um, we'll see whether we can. I think we were talking about um, Chris um, when he's got some time. He's horrendously busy at the moment. Um, but when we've when he's got some time, he may look at doing a speed painting example. Um, he's very good at doing that, and um, I think that would be very interesting to put up on the the uh, yeah. channel. Um, how we have gone through, how Chris has gone through <laughs> painting these figures, um, and Guy, who is very good at doing individual models, he 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 likes to spend a lot of time um, painting a particular model and building that model up. Um, and he was going to take away the character that he wants to play um, and rather than videoing that actually take photographs and put it up on our website to show yeah. how he went about that and the various stages that he went through um, but overall um, really like yeah. the traps really it, like the it's traps. been worth the wait yes yeah, yeah. Um, Grimlord Games uh, as I said when we met them they were fantastic really nice chaps um we we took up a lot of their time talking uh, not just about village attacks but we talked to them a fair bit about ever rain yeah. so if uh, it's on kickstarter now yeah. um it's a again another cooperative game but set in a dark world of uh, where uh, old gods um never ending rain um but it looks to be a a story driven uh, campaign game and it looks really good and if the quality of the models are anything like this yeah. um, they're going to be absolutely brilliant um, and and the guys themselves uh, I can't can't praise them enough um, so you know yes we're, we're fans um, <laughs> but that's because of the product that they've produced um, I think we're, we're, we're very happy and it goes very well with you know, to me, this is this is the same quality as fantasy flight games or yeah. um, uh, flying frog games. Um, there's there's other games that we've bought recently. Whilst the game themselves might be very good, the actual quality of the components, the components have let it down. Uh, yeah. Have let it down considerably. This doesn't get let down by that by, by the components. We're yeah. gonna have to see how the rules go, and we're gonna have to see how yeah. the game plays out, <laughs> um, which we'll be doing as I said um, this week. Um, anything you want to add? No, just, um, yeah, really looking forward to getting it onto the table. And thank you for watching this. Um, we'd be really appreciative if you could give us a like and yeah. a subscribe if you'd like to see what else is coming up. And to see the playthroughs. Um, yeah. We do have a playthrough that we're still currently editing. Um, we've had about seven hours worth of video, so we're, we're doing um, folklore. Um, that, that will be making its way to the channel, uh, I do hope, soon. <laughs> Um, I apologise that it, it's it's taken longer. We've got that. We've also got a Green Horde playthrough that we we made, um, but this one we will certainly be filming. I think we're going to also film um, Arkham Horror Third Edition, which we recently played and we absolutely loved. Um, really, really enjoyed that. Um, so we need to get all these done before Uboat uh, turns <laughs> up. So as Karen said, thank you for watching. Um, Give it a like and, and, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. And we look forward to uh, bringing you more content in the next uh, couple of weeks. Yeah. Thank you.
So now we're going to take a look at the troll. A lot of recycling comes with all these uh, games. Oh, now this. Hopefully you can see the troll. That is a fantastic model. <laughs> That is lovely. Yeah. Somebody's going to have some fun painting that, I think.